Hi guys, Ben here again from the 401 Files. I'm just checking in really quickly. Had a quick thought as I was walking the dog and um, thought we'd share that with you guys. It's always nice to read your comments, your thoughts, ideas and opinions down in the comments box below. So if there's anything you think that could strengthen this idea I've got, please do drop down below in the comments box below. That's what it's there for guys. Let's get commenting away and um, share these ideas. So, it's 2021 and it completely blows me away that even today there are still UFO deniers. Like, how is that a thing? How are still people in denial about off-Earth aircraft flying around in our airspace? After everything that the Pentagon has come out and released, after everything that these Navy pilots have come forward and spoke openly about, how do we still have people denying the fact that we aren't alone. And if they aren't denying that, they're certainly not believing that there are extraterrestrials out there much smarter than humans visiting this planet. That blows me away that in 2021, we still have deniers like that. And I started thinking about, around the world, how many different nuclear weapon storage facilities there are. There are hundreds upon hundreds of these facilities storing state-of-the-art weaponry. Now in charge of these bases, it isn't just your everyday village idiot. These are highly trained, well-qualified professionals that specialize in nuclear weaponry. So these are the best of the best when it comes to this, these types of bases and what these bases store. And when one of these bases comes forward and says that they had an incident where nuclear weapons began to shut down. They no longer had control over these weapons inside this facility and roughly at the same time reports were coming in from people on the front gate of strange lights hovering above the base. When one base comes forward and says that it's more believable than just your average day civilian reporting a UFO sighting. But I get it and some deniers might say well yeah just because they are experts, just because they are well-trained profe um, well professionals, um, highly qualified, doesn't mean that they can't be confused with certain aerial phenomena. I get that. But what happens when a second base comes forward on the opposite side of the world and says exactly the same thing? And then a third base, and then a fourth base, and a fifth base, and before you know it, we're in double digits of these bases that are operated and managed by well-educated, trained, professional people saying the same things, saying that the weapons shut down um, and strange lights we've observed outside the front gates or above the actual base itself. And in some cases, like in 1980 with Rendlesham Forest at Woodbridge Base, where it is believed that nuclear weapons were being stored, lasers from these craft were actually fired down into the hangars. So when you now have double digits of these bases coming forward and telling these stories. How do people still deny this? At this point now, there should be no room for speculation. There should be no room for denial. They are all lying. It's absolutely insane to think and suggest otherwise. It blows my mind, guys, how people can still in 2021, after so many people have come forward um, with similar stories, very credible people, that have had these strange experiences with tons of similarities between them, how can people still say, nope, they're all lying, they're all confused, they're either heavy drinkers, delusional, they've got an imaginative brain, or they're suffering with some kind of mental health issues. How is that possible that all these bases and all the commanders in charge of these bases are suffering with those same problems? Why is it just not that actually, one second, hold up, they may have actually experienced something here because over in Australia, which is the opposite side of the world, we had the same thing. Whoop, hold up, because in Denmark, in Sweden, in the UK, all these different countries with these facilities are explaining the same, same stories. And yet you're still gonna get people that say, nope, they're not, they're lying, they're delusional, they're confused. It blows my mind. You guys drop down below, guys. How is it not in 2021 a given? How is, it in, how is it not a fact right now? And how do we still have deniers after everything that's been released via the Pentagon and the Navy and all these other credible witnesses? How is it still possible 
that people deny. I don't get it. Comment below, guys. It'd be interesting to know what you think. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this short little thought that I had. And um, I'm looking like a weirdo. I'm sat on the floor talking to you guys right now as I'm walking the dog. But it was the only place I could get out of the wind. So, yeah. Thumbs this one up, guys. Comment below and uh, let me know what you think.